Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I hope you guys are staying warm and that you didn't get hit with a lot of snow. We were supposed to have snow all day today. We had warnings a couple days ago and yesterday and we woke up and there is nothing. Just sunny and cold, so I'll take it. I love having snow, but I'm ready for uh, not fall, spring. <coughs> I don't know, whatever we're in. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I, every time I come on here, I say this, but y'all are tagging me and Googling me and Facebooking me and everything with your backgrounds and your paintings and your first face drawings ever, and they are fantastic. You can see my hands moving as I talk without seeing me. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. So, what we're gonna do today, I'm trying to keep these short, as short as possible, step by step, because so many of you are doing it and so many of you are new and, and you know, learning how to do this. So uh, I hate to do a 30 minute video to kind of go through everything, but we'll see where I take us. Now, now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a very simple uh, dress on her. Uh, the last video, we, we glued her little face down, um, which you don't have to. You, of course, can draw on here and paint as well. It doesn't matter. This is how I'm doing this one. But, uh, and then we did a little heavy uh, gesso around just to get a little white. So, and a block of, um, so we don't lift up all the color underneath when we do her hair. But we'll be doing that in a moment. So, but let's do her dress first. Now, there is something called, um, complementary colors and complementary colors are colors that look good obviously together they complement each other so I have this pink background pinkish you know uh, red I guess because I have some red in there so I want to find a color that will complement this and not fall flat into the background if that makes sense now uh, with these colors it's usually Uh, green, I guess, would be because we have different shades in here. Let me just show you some examples. So I have this orange. It, my room's kind of dark today I don't because I don't have my blinds open. But this is orange. It's kind of bright orange. You can't really see it. And it has um, some green in it, some pink, some light blue, and all that kind of stuff, which I pulled out because I thought, wow, that really matches a lot of the uh, backgrounds in here, pulls those out, the greens, the blues, the pinks, whatever. So I put that down and uh, let's kind of look here. Now, you can't really see it that great because I don't know why the colors aren't going out good. I don't know, but I kind of like this. It's not, it's, you know, it'll be nice. It'll pop enough. We can outline it and give it some smudgies and see what that's like. So this is a contender. And then I pulled out because the complementary color for the pinks and all are green. So I picked out, I keep all my, I'm very weird, but I, we can get on camera and get clear. I'm a color coder of my scrapbook paper, my single sheets, and this is, happens to be green. If my fucking camera will ever, oh, sorry. If my camera will ever uh, focus, I'm starting to get me aggravated. Sorry. I do have a trucker mouth though. I try not to. All right. So this is, my goodness, it's going in and out. It's focusing on everything, but, but look at the difference that this brings when you put it on here. Now this is a little uh, gr green, a little brighter of a green, but look how that pops off of there. Like you're really going to see that. So that's, that's a good contender too. And I can even design on here what I want her to look like, the dress. Now let me pull one more piece out, which is another piece of, I think I have more scrap of paper than a person should ever have. Ugh, but just sit here and stare at me. All right, well, let me show you this. Now this is another green. This is more bluish green. And it has the pinks in it at all. But to me, that kind of doesn't stand out enough um, because these are much uh, of a deeper color, uh, not bright. So I'm not, I mean, I love this paper, um, but I'm not gonna use it for that. And I, I, I hope that you guys can see the difference. And you'll see when I put the piece that I pick on, pick on pick to put on. <laughs> okay. Now this is obviously a bright green. It has different colors on it. And hmm. no, I don't know which one I like better. And we're just going to kind of give her a nice little, little dress, nothing fancy, but this has, you know, some blue in it, some green, some white, some orange, and that pulls too. So let me see if I do that one. 
I think though, I think what I'm going to do, see this, this is kind of competing with the background and I don't really want that right now. Maybe another day if I was in the middle and, you know, wanted to compete or something. This kind of, to me, I love this paper, but it kind of does fall into the background a little bit too much for me. So I think I'm going with a cheap piece of cardstock that I got, which is regular green. Let's say, can you see, can you see? And I think that's the color we're going to go for right there. All right. Well, that was easy enough. I thought I would take forever. So put that aside for a minute. I'm going to grab my pencil. Any kind of pencil you have, no big deal. So we have her neck and I kind of want her neck to be a little curved. Like she will have, and I'm just using the pencil. So I have an idea. See how she'll have like a, it'll be like a, a neckline on a shirt. And then it's going to be behind her hair. And I'm, I'm lightly drawing. You know what? I have a very heavy hand because of my hands, but uh, I don't care. I can erase it. So something else I want you to think about is now, obviously, as we see her, her face and her neck, you know, the bottom of the, let me move my camera back a minute. I don't know if that's going to, yeah. Okay. Here's the bottom of the paper. So in order for us to really put a, a dress on her, and I'm going to lightly sketch, you're not going to be able to see it too much on the camera, but I'm just going to lightly sketch just so I have an idea and I can always erase it. It isn't going to hurt anybody, but I'm not going to be able to put her legs. Sometimes when I do, I should pull some of my art to show you, but uh, sometimes when I do dresses and whatnot, and it's, it's a longer page, if I would have put her up higher or whatever, I do her two little cute legs. I'm not going to do that this time because obviously I don't have the space and I don't need to. So I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mimic, I'm going to put it right under the line right here, and I'm going to kind of mimic that curve. Okay. Does it have to be perfect? Heck no. Just do it like that. And now come down just like you're drawing very light and sketchy and I'll hold it up for you and do it a little bit darker. When I just kind of going to give her a really cute, you know, she's going to be our little folk art for a eh, folk arty dog. I swear to God, I cannot talk today. <sighs> You'd think I was on tons of medicine today. So this is just a general idea of how I'm going to cut this out to see. And I'm really off camera here, but I will fix it. So you see how I just kind of sketched it out kind of, and I'm going to go a little bit close, a little further away, close to the camera, a little further away from the line than I, than I have drawn. Okay. And move my extra paper. I'm going to kind of cut that neck out. See how we drew the neck. And I'm just going to give it a nice little wampa wampa. There we go. And you see how that goes over that? So that covers the line that I drew. And we have her little neck. Now you can definitely make it, you know, a little smaller. That's a little big. But I can cut. You know, I'm going to take my scissors and put a little line there. So I know when I cut it. Now we kind of want to you know, how, how short is this going to be? Well, we're going to put that there. The best thing to do is take the bottom of your paper and I'm going to turn this so you guys can see it. Okay, camera, let's focus. All right. You see, this is the bottom of my paper. So what I'm going to do is all fancy and stuff. I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to give it a fold. Just so it's a little, make sure you have your neck lined up to where you marked it. Stick that under. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I, I make myself laugh. I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to, you go nuts. Okay. All right. And just give it a fold. So you have a general idea. Now you can see right here that I am maybe half inch, quarter inch uh, from the bottom line, but I'm not going to worry about that because I have the general idea of where I want to cut this just to make it more manageable. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just going to give it a straight cross cut, straight as Kelly can cut straight. All right. So now we line it back up and we have her dress. Oh, so fancy. Now you can all obviously turn it around this way. If you don't want to have your lines on it, you can erase it, whatever. doesn't matter to me, but I do see that I want 
to make sure, because my dogs are going to hear their little legs. I'm happy with this line here on the neck. Oh, geez, oh, Pete's. I swear, if it just could stay focused for two minutes, what a great thing that would be. All right. So I'm happy here where the neck goes, where this line is. So we drew our line. That line's right up there. So I know I can cut here to shape it. Over here, though, however, it's a little over some. You see, like, here's her neck, and it's, I mean, she can have, I, I wear big shirts, I, you know. So I'm just going to mark, make sure I know that this is the line where I kind of want to make it, you know, doesn't hurt to err on the side of caution and do a little bit bigger than you want, but, you know, I'm just going to go for it because I have no patience for anything. So I'm just going to cut down like that, and then over here, I'm going to cut, cut it right there. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, let me throw that away. La, 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 la. Right. Now, know that, oh yeah, that's much better. See how that looks better around her neck? Now, obviously, it's going off the paper. I am not worried about it. You can make this go up a little bit more if you want, and even cut more off if you want. That's up to you how much of the neck you want showing. I can go and cut a little bit more of this off. It's not a big deal. I could scooch it over this way so it's more even. It doesn't matter. Um, but this is where we're going to put it, <clears throat> and this makes her have her outfit started. So what I'm going to do is try to, with my Mod Podge, okay, it worked. Now you can use your white school glue mixed with a little bit of water because it will just make it uh, flow better. But um, Elmer school glue, I talk about it all the time. It's fantastic, and I am going to grab my Elmer school glue once I finish setting up my little spot here. I'm getting there. And uh, you'll be seeing me to use using that a lot more. So let me grab my brush. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit. You can see that this brush is well loved, well used. Probably one of the first brushes I've ever used, but I love it, and I just don't want to get rid of it. Put a little of your glue. Get your paper. Very easy. And decide what side you're gonna use. Um, if you use the opposite side of what you drew the. Uh, dress form on. Make sure you look at your neck area that it uh, is even because when you turn it over, obviously, if, if you're off a little bit or one side's a little bigger or whatever, it's going to, I don't care, I'm getting it on my thing there. Um, it's going to uh, see like if I put it like this, it's going to be different measurements a little bit. So just make sure. And then put that as even as you can. And I'm going to leave the uh, lines up. Now you can see it's coming through a little bit. I touched my hands are wet with the glue and hey, you know how that goes. So I'm just gonna kind of push it down a bit. Okay, I'm gonna put my glue over here before I knock it over. I gotta find my good eraser somewhere. I feel like I'm, I don't know. All right, <laughs> where's my good eraser? <laughs> I don't know. I'll use this one. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase some of these lines. Now, once you put it on because the glue's still wet, if you want, you can kind of scooch it up a little bit. Just take your hand or even your uh, pencil eraser or eraser that you're using. It'll scooch up a little bit. Um, if you have wet glue on the neck, if it came out, wait till it dries and then erase it. But I'm just going to erase these lines off, although we will do outlines and something on here. But you see how easy it is. And you don't even really have to erase them because we will be doing other stuff on here. And so far, she got her little dress on. Now, you look at it and you're like, oh, it doesn't look fancy. It doesn't look anything. But we're going to decorate it. We're going to stamp on it. We're going to do stuff. And it's going to look good. So I'm just going to go down here and just trim off a little more of that. Now, I will take my, which I do this a lot, um, take my scissors, my small scissors, um, and cut, you know what I mean? Those things more than the bigger scissors. Oh, focus again. Damn it. I gotta get Dave to look at this. Okay. Cause it's, it's probably my fault, but it's not, it's not doing good today on here. Now, when we do her hair, which I like to do last, but, um, if we, when we do her hair, you can have her hair flowing down on here. We could put jewelry on her neck. We can do so many fun things. So this is very exciting to me because we're getting there. You know what I'm saying? So we have this. Now, something that I do is I take, let me take my Mod Podge and close it. So if I need it, it doesn't dry up. 
You can use a glue stick as well. You don't have to use, you know, Mod Podge or White School if you don't have, if you have a glue stick, by all means, use a glue stick. Okay. So I need, I need a lot of things. I need to have my brain. Excuse me if you can see anything inappropriate on the camera. All right. All right. See, can you hear me? Yep. She's doing something there, isn't she? All right, so I'm going to grab my Folk Art Light Flesh color. Now, um, geez, we're up to 15 minutes already. So I'm going to add the arms. I'm going to show you how to add the arms, how I do it, the first layer of it. Now, you can take, I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just squirt a little bit right there. Um, you can take your uh, gesso that we used for the hair, and you can make it go around the arms to make a, to block out the colors. You can put it on there. I'm not going to do that right now because... Um, no, I'm not going to worry about it, but you definitely can. And what I'm going to do is if you see here, this is basically, this is her neck, like our neck and the shoulders. So her, you know, I always make her arms coming out that way. It's going to be obviously behind the hair. We kind of want her arms and this is, a, this is, I'm doing it this way. And next time or another video rather, I will show you how to that I do regular hands and all that kind of stuff but this is an easy beginners thing see how I'm doing they're not even really necessarily even um you know you can make them even you can measure you can say oh that's starting there and you can do all that fancy stuff I'm not going to worry about too much but I am just you know do it like maybe an inch you know like her little remember her hair is going to come down um if you want you can just put this little and I'll show this up close so you got to hear my dog's little nails. Obviously they need cut. They grow so fast. We cut them like a month ago. All right. So I'm going to make it a little thicker. And then just kind of make her arm, you know, so it just doesn't come from anywhere. And you can make it all solid there if you want. We'll play with that more uh, once we get to that. I just wanted to put a quick coat on there so it can dry. Okay. Now her face. Something that we can do, I'm going to close that. This is the color that we'll be using for the face. I'm using a uh, light flush. Again, um, use whatever you have. If you have a uh, titanium buff, that's a fantastic color. You can mix a little pink in there to make it a little bit more pinker or just tad orange. You know, we all have like the pink underneath our skin, the orange. So don't be afraid to take some white and mix a little bit of you know, pink in it to get a good, you know, portrait color or whatever, because we have a million different, you know, you can use brown. It, it doesn't matter. Um, now, you know what I'll do? Well, I'm just going to wait one more second and do this. I'm going to paint her neck with this because I squirted out some and why not? So let me just go in. So I do want to do, I can see the line where her little face is, where her little chin is. So I'm just going to go in. I have, um, I'm going to be doing a vlog. I got a lot of, I got some questions and some things and things to talk about. But now you see how heavy I made her neck? It's pretty heavy, uh, pretty wide, but I'm not going to worry about it again because the hair is going to go in and I'd rather have the neck go out a little bit more and then come in with the hair and cover it. And that kind of is my primer there. So when I do do the hair, you can see I did not put the gesso all the way over for the color, so I just put her neck out a little bit. And that will also act, like I said, as a gesso, as a primer, and that's fantastic. And then just with the other little bit I have left, I'm going to go over the arms one more time so it's not to be wasted. This acrylic paint, acrylic paint in general, really dries so fast. So it's really good to work with. And if you have a heat gun or an old hair dryer, it works just as good to dry it. Okay, so that's that. I'm just going to clean up that little bit. I always try to wipe because I'll end up my arm in there somehow. So, so far, so good. Kind of looks like a ghost. <laughs> but that's where we're starting. And like I said, we're going to put her a nice little cute thing that she's going to hold there. You can paint a flower. You can add a flower. You can add a gem. And we'll go through that at the time. And, um... Next, we're going to do her face and her hair, and then do all the touching up and the rest of the background, do a nice little cute saying on there, and she's going to be adorbs. So I hope that y'all will continue to tag me 
and send me all your next uh, steps that you've done or if you're finished or your face or whatever you guys do. I love seeing all that you guys do. Um, my group is called All Things Creative. People are joining left and right, and it is a uh, fantastic fantastic group. Uh, we have some, uh, what are they? They were just doing something in there. Let me look. Let me see what it is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Well, we do art prompts and the prompt, uh, I put up yes for yesterday is, uh, what's your favorite fairy tale, draw or paint your favorite fairy tale or scene or something that has to do with it. They are doing ATC swaps in there. They, I know Kelly just put up a uh, homemade postcard swap, which I keep eyeing up and I think I might join into that. I got to see. Um, I'm horrible because I, I end up getting sick or y'all know, you know, you get flare up or whatever and then everything you want to do doesn't work. So it's all things creative. You have to uh, friend me on Facebook though, because the group is private. Um, but all you have to do is email me and message me and say, Hey, can you add me to the group? Uh, it's fantastic. It is wonderful. We have the best people in there sharing their work. We have random acts of kindness. Like I said, we have the ATC swap, the postcard swap. Um, oh gosh. And people just, it's so, uh, encouraging and inspiring and, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place. So that's about that for that. Stay tuned for, like I said, I'll be either putting up a blog, a vlog, uh, later on today or tomorrow, um, got a few things I want to talk about. Uh, the bath bombs are going to be getting ready to go out soon. And um, for people to, I got a few testers. I got to contact a couple more people for addresses. And my next giveaway, um, I'm almost, not all, I shouldn't say almost because I don't think I'm, I think I just am like 90. I don't know. I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers, which I'm blown away. So I really want to do a massive mixed media giveaway. Um, so I started to, and I'll talk about that in my vlog, but I started to collect things to go buy things for a uh, mixed media uh, giveaway. So I'm probably going to have a smaller giveaway coming up and then I will do a bigger giveaway. Um, I also, which before I moved rooms and life took over in October, I have a list. I found my book that I wrote everything in of oh, so much polymer clay stuff. People ask me to show. So that's going to be coming up some polymer clay things. And I'm really excited about that. Um, and oh my God, so, so many things. So like I said, we're on our way here. I love you guys so very much. You guys are so wonderful and so supportive and so loving and so encouraging. And I just can't thank you guys enough. Uh, as always, be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. Hit me up on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I follow back. Uh, I love seeing you guys as animals and kids and work and, and art and everything that y'all do. Um, follow me on Pinterest and Twitter. And I mean, I'm everywhere. Facebook, my link will be down below. Uh, you can hit me up on Facebook as well. So that is it. I hope you guys tag me to see your stuff. Thank you for everybody who has. I love it. I love seeing it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.